Hello and welcome to This Dafu We Cooking. I'm your host, Shernette, and today I will be preparing panadis. So let's get started. And the ingredients will be in the, the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. And hit that notification bell. Okay. So, what I'm using is a can of mackerel. I'm going to make two different types. And tuna. I'm using solid white tuna. And for the mackerel, I am going to put one small onion, one a uh, half of a jalapeno pepper. I'm using one scallion and two cloves of garlic. And then for my tuna, I'm going to use a half of a small onion, one garlic clove minced, a half of a jalapeno and one scallion or a green onion. You're also going to need, I'm going to put one pack of Saison to my macro and a half a pack of Saison with the tuna. I'm using Saison. Everybody may not be able to get their hands on Ricardo. I'm saying it right this time. Ricardo. So you can either use Saison or Ricardo. And I'm going to use the Saison today. Also, you are going to use one eighth of a teaspoon of your onion powder, ground chipotle, smoked paprika, garlic powder, a little of my seasoning, parsley, and that's it. So let's get started. So you're going to add a little oil to your pan. So I have two. I'm starting two. Just going to use you all know I love my garlic olive oil, but you can use any type of oil that you that you like. And th this is the filling. You also going to need, let me just tell you too. I am using masa that's already prepared. This is a four pound. You can usually find it in your local Hispanic Mexican store or uh, you can get the ground masa and it will be in the aisle where you find your flour and your cornmeal and it will have the instructions on the back how to prepare it. But it saves you a lot of work if you get you some masa that's already prepared. So this is four pounds. I'm gonna use all that because I am going to cook two different types. Okay, let me put in some olive oil, probably like a tablespoon. And then I'm gonna put my seasoning in and let that just brown a little bit. I'm multitasking. Multitasking, multitasking. Okay, let me just move it up a little closer so you guys can see. And you just want to saute it a little bit. And then we're going to add the dry seasoning. Okay, so it took basically around five, no more than 10 minutes just to brown it and get the seasoning good into the meat. I did add a, a little sprinkle, just a, just a pinch, a little, little pinch of salt. And you um, just season it to how you want it to be seasoned. If you think you need a little bit more um, seasoning, 
the saison or whatever, you can put a little bit more. If you want to add a little less, if you're watching your soap, you can put a little bit less. So now I am going to start the masa, seasoning my masa. So like I said, I have the four pounds and I want to get it in this bowl. Just basically turn it inside out, make sure I get all of it. So you're letting your, your filling just sit on the side, cool down a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna use my two packets of Saison. I'm gonna work that in real good. Okay, masa is done. I actually used two and a half packs of Saison for this four pound and a little sprinkle of salt. So you need your tortilla press and I just cut a um, Ziploc bag. This, I think this is a quart, a quart size, but I cut a Ziploc bag and spray it down so it won't stick. You want to get you a piece of masa. Around this size. Roll it. Get a nice size ball. And then you want to put it in your tortilla press. Put the other side over it. Press it down. Turn it, press it down, and from there, I'm gonna get you a scoop of loose spoon of the fish. Just need a loose spoon. You don't want to overfill it. Just a tad bit more. And actually, I laid it the wrong way because I'm gonna turn it that way. Okay. Then just make sure your meat is in good. You're gonna fold it over, press down the edges. And this panati is ready to fry. That one didn't press, get it good, okay. And I'm just gonna lay it on some, um, what is this? The plastic um, Glad Clean wrap. And I sprayed it down. And get you another ball. Roll it and you just continue to spray down. Put that ball in there. Put the other plastic over top. Smash it with your tortilla press. Turn it a little bit more. Smash it. And then add your meat. You just gonna go spoon the meat. Then you're gonna fold it over. Press it 
press down. Let's bring this a little closer so you can see. You gotta fold it over, press the edges down. Alrighty, and just lay them out. See, I'm laying them out. So I'm gonna finish these up. I made some big ones and some small ones. You can get more if you make them this size, small like this. You can get more. And then you want to heat up a skillet of oil. And then when that oil heats up, we will get to frying. Looks good. Okay, and we're back. Now I heat the oil up, and you know I always tell you guys to check it with a wooden spoon to see if the oil is hot. The oil is hot. It's game time. Alrighty. So I'm gonna fry some of the tuna first. Overfill them. We don't want them to stick together. It's just for a few minutes because the filling is already cooked. So you're basically just cooking the, the masa. Oh Lord, I hope I ain't separated. So just for a few minutes. So for around three to five minutes. Good. They're not burnt. They're just a little dark browner in color. I don't know if herb, not dark brown herb. <laughs> dark brown. Okay. Around 
five minutes, maybe a little longer. And I'll put these on my rack to drain. And I will finish up frying these babies and play them and I'll be back. Alrighty, the panadis and the sauce is all ready. Make sure you press your ends down around the panadis and I hope you enjoy this video of Belizean panadis. Bon appetit!